Ooh, it's your boy, Ryan the Dreamer, and welcome to the first episode of The Sims 4 Bachelor Challenge with Paolo Rocca. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe to me. I am poor. So this is my first time doing this challenge, so I'm really excited about it. I'm happy to do something else different on my channel besides Supernaturals. Um, so we're going to start this off by just having him introduce himself to all of the potential singles. We are in Windenburg, right here. If we zoom out, you can see. Oh, and it's raining. Wonderful, beautiful. We are in lovely Windenburg. Uh, Paolo didn't want to veer too far from where he's comfortable, so we just got a nice little, you know, plot of land to ourselves where we can live and, and do things here. So this should be really fun. I'm very excited to see what happens and what comes of this and who he ends up with, who he chooses. That'll be really fun to see. So they're all heading inside because it started raining. I'm going to give a nice little tour of the house um, before we go in and check in with them individually, specifically. So th I got this house off the gallery from Anne's HB, A-N-N-E-S HB. Uh, really, really, really nice. I thought it vibed well with uh, Paolo and his vibe. Starting off, we do have a spa in the basement. So I think that's really neat. A nice little place to relax, a little indoor pool action going on here. Nice little jacuzzi woozy. Can't do any woohoo in it though. So that's fun. Oh, also a sauna. Another place you can't woohoo in until the very end. Fun. We have a garage here that's just for play because we know cars don't exist. This is a nice area. I feel like we're going to be using the bar quite a lot. Got some games up here. She put in a nice little uh, restroom as well in this area. Okay, why are we just standing though? Let's command some sits from these people, and I'll introduce you to the characters, um, to the contestants, a little bit later as well, too. Don't you worry about that. We're going to know them. Uh, this is a nice little living area. Is no one speaking? This is so awkward. We have a nice little pantry here, a wonderful kitchen area. That's fun. Uh, some uh, bathrooms you access from the outside, a dining room area over here. This isn't, I guess this is like a loft, I, I would assume, a nice, just a place to hang out, you know, whatever. In the backyard, we got a pool, some places to set out here. We have some swing sets, a bonfire, a nice basketball court. And then we have another little outside patio area right here, right here. Uh, going upstairs to the second floor, uh, this is another kind of spa land place or whatever. A uh, bedroom here for someone, another bedroom here for someone. This is a bedroom here. So it looks like it's decorated for a child. There's a second room that's here as well that looks like it's decorated for a child. I feel like Paolo wants to see who gets these child rooms to see like who doesn't take themselves too seriously, who can kind of make fun of themselves. Cause that's, you know, that's that's how, how he is. Another little uh, bedroom here. Uh, this is a movie area, which is freaking wonderful. I can't wait to use that. Uh, we have one computer in the house. It's right here in this small little room. So there's that. And then we have one more floor. It basically all belongs to Paolo. Um, this is his room, his closet, a little outside space of his own that's private. We have the door locked so no one can come in. This is when he can kind of mull over decisions when it comes to eliminations and whatnot. And then we have a restroom here for him as well. And this is another outside place that everyone can enjoy. This part is not locked locked off, but this is a on it's, it's on his floor, for real. Now I started watching um, Ocean's Let's Play, not let, yeah, her challenge, and she had an idea that I liked, so I did it in mind to have all the contestants with their photos right here, and then as they're eliminated, we will, um, well, if I can find it, we will make it black and white to show that they are no longer there. Ooh, there are just dragon water all over this place. So we're here. It's wet. Let's get some. Let's get some stuff started. Let's. Can we hire a mixologist? Ooh, yay! It seems like everyone is talking besides Paolo. I felt like he's low key overwhelmed with all this stuff. Let's go over here with these people that can't. That we can't really get into. Oh, he found a bro. He found a bro. So they're gonna get off on the good foot. I feel like. Let's come over here and meet Claire. Oh, this is a good chance to introduce you to everyone as well. Uh, so this is Princeton Price. We have Tatiana Roland. I got him from the gallery. I made her. Um, this is Ken Gwenkins, and this is his sister, Emily Gwenkins. I got them from the gallery as well. Violet Monet, I made her. I love her. I think she's cool. Claire Morrill, she's also from the gallery. Um, and then we have Holden Miles, who I made as well. 
Now Holden and Violet uh, are actually friends. They know each other outside of this. So we have a few rivalries already kind of within, within the house competing for this man's heart. So that's really cool and exciting. Well, people have to use the pissery already. We literally just started the festivities. I feel like uh, Holden and uh, Violet are just going to crap talk in the bathroom. Oh my gosh, they're literally going to talk crap in the bathroom. It's so freaking weak. So we got a freaking mixologist to come here. Where are they? We want to have some drinks and I don't want to make them myself. Um, okay. <laughs> well, we don't have a mixologist here, but for some reason, Paolo has decided to give a Swedish massage to Holden. Holden's using the bathroom, isn't he? <gasps> oh, they didn't do it. Oh, oh well. Well, Holden, you have to pee. It's right here, buddy. It's right there. Where's the mixologist? Thank you. Goodness, after 33 years, you decide to finally show up. Listen, I don't care how pregnant you are, yes, Mender. My goodness. Okay, we're going to order a drink for the group. We, because money is no object. What's the most expensive thing? <gasps> we are going to get the Sea of Fire. Let's do it. Let's have him put that order in immediately. All right, so we are getting drinks started. Everyone seems to be coming over here. We noticed that Claire and Holden are among the first two. Now listen, I don't know what this mess was about Paolo wanting to give um, Holden a sweetest massage, but he was about to do that. Like, it was about to happen whole life for real. Yeah, he's high key overwhelmed. He keeps looking over his shoulder like so many people here. I don't know what's going on. Don't know what's happening. Don't know what's happening. I love all these sims. I really do a lot. Um, and it's going to be really cool. This is going to be a different way to play because I'm very pr proactive in like my game and how I play and choose things basically for the sim. It'll also be fun to see Paolo choose things for himself, you know, with my help, but mostly his. And I think that'll be really cool and fun to play with. Oh my gosh, Violet, well then go. I told you to use the bathroom before. Take her sea of fire and go to the pissery immediately. Violet, if you pee yourself right now in front of everyone, this will be your fault. My goodness. I'm really excited to see like who he's gelling with and who he's like uh, getting along with, who he kind of has some more work to go. I see that Claire gave up her seat for Princeton here. Princeton seems like a nice fellow. I will say that. Let's discuss DJ techniques. I guess he's into DJing or whatever. Oh, and now it's his turn to use the bathroom. I'm going to have to get that cheat installed where they don't pee every five seconds because we don't, we don't have time for bladders here. We're trying to find love. Who did it? Oh, no! Are you serious? Wow, Princeton, that is embarrassing. Princeton peed himself. What? Oh, and she's standing in it. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. Emily, girl, remove yourself from the situation. That's embarrassing, Princeton. Baby. Oh, he's bougie. Instead of going to one of the shower sounds here, he wants to get into the jacuzzi bathtub. I'm freaking weak. We're gonna have to talk to him about that. <laughs> this is how you use a bathroom, Princeton. That is embarrassing. Did anyone claim this drink? Cause I will totally take it. I don't understand what he's doing. He's literally supposed to be trying to find love and everyone else is inside mingling while he's outside and having a moment to himself. Girl, the season just started. You're gonna have to get over this little introvertedness that you have going on here, Paolo. It's not a good look for you, boo. At least Princeton had the guts to pee himself. Get back in here. Why is Violet outside? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening right now. Okay, well, that's they're not doing anything. Let's play with... How many Sims can we play with? Oh, we can only choose three Sims to play with? Yikes. Well, let's get Emily and Claire. And let's get Tatiana. I feel like they have the least relationship of everyone right now. So we'll, we'll get a game started with them and see how they go there. And then, you know, later we can do ping pong or something or games with the guys and Violet. I feel like that's cool. Violet literally, oh my gosh, she is one of the boys. She is Katy Perry's song, One of the Boys, where she's like, I know that I'm tough and stuff, but I don't want to be seen as one of your guys. I want you to know that I'm a woman and that I freaking want you. Um, I just, this is disgusting. Let's mop this up. They are going to need some food. How about Violet takes the initiative 
to hire some staff. Let's hire a caterer. Okay, so Emily's done. I don't know what happened, but she said I'm not playing these games. Everyone has to pee. What is the issue here? I need to get this mod immediately. By the time part two is filmed, I will have control of this freaking house. But Emily left. She's not feeling it. I feel like I saw Ken clutch his bladder as well. Listen, we're not going to have everyone pee in this house on the first day. I'll let you know that. Not even on the second day will we allow people to pee in this house. This is just insanity. <gasps> we have a second bedwetter oh my goodness tatiana that is embarrassing girl go take a shower tatiana and princeton they are not looking good right now today violet why don't you sneak in and join this game well you know i lied i wonder if you don't do that go you're already friends with him go talk to her no <gasps> it's violet why don't we kind of like tease her a little bit about the fact that she peed herself just a little bit um let's just like insult her like what are we seven <laughs> in front of her brother let's get violet to go ahead and start some trouble in the house i feel like violet is the trouble starter well this is cute you know and then there were two it's paolo and it's claire and she is owning this entire side i think that's quite adorable let's get another game started so i want to oh Okay, so let's play it against Ken in Princeton. Now here we go. This is the fun. This is the bro out time that he and Holden were freaking revel in. And poor Violet has not gotten the game in yet. So I don't understand who a oh, Princeton is. Princeton changed his entire clothes. He said, listen, I peed in my formal outfit, so you're getting my every day. And honestly, we're not upset with it. Love the red. Love the three color scheme he has going on there. He's a good one and he can stay. Why is he crying? Kenneth, there's no crying in ping pong. Oh, okay. So wait a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. So Violet insults Emily for peeing herself. Next thing we know, Emily is giving Violet a massage. I'm going to leave that right there. Tatiana changed her clothes too. She said, listen, Tatiana, you take that time to yourself, girl. It's all good. I'm still weak. Can we just revisit? Like, how did this exchange happen? I feel like Violet Loki demanded her, like, if you want my respect, give me a massage. And was it, was it good? Ooh, yes. No stress, no mess, no fuss, no worries. Such a relaxing rub. Emily... Girl, you lost all power. I'll let you know that right now. Is this food done? Where did she go? Girl, how long does it take to make what? What is this? Macaroni? Sis, figure it out. We're going to have everyone grab a serving. Well, at least first come, first serve. Because it looks like there's one. But four? Why would she do this? Compliment a stack on outfit. Where did the girl go? She only cooked to one meal for four people. There's literally double that living here. <sighs> I can't. I'm stressed. Who Who's going to cook? Who's not busy? Princeton, girl, come here. Make ourselves a garden salad for eight. Where are you going? Is she going upstairs possibly to use the kitchen on the third floor? Is that what's happening here? Holden is being very, like, oh, I know why he's being sent off <laughs> It's like, why aren't people doing things autonomously? Um, that's because I had autonomy turned off. Let's make that ish full. Great. Now we can start seeing personalities and things that people do. I'm like, why is Holden standing? Oh, well, there he is. Uh-oh, I think Holden has chosen one of the joke beds that we have in the kids' room. <gasps> oh, he did. Good for you, Holden. We are, we see you. We respect what's going on here. Let's see who else is choosing beds. Okay, it looks like everyone has decided to choose the same bed, which is not the tea. Okay. And now we have Ken giving Paolo the massage. Lots of massages happening in this house. I feel like this is going to be a really kind of recurring theme, unfortunately. Don't know what to make of it, but you know what? We'll, we'll take We'll take it. We'll take it. So you meet someone and immediately you're like, why don't we get you with nothing but a towel and I'll rub your entire body. Did we like it, Paolo? Girl, 
nap. He was gonna get in the hot tub and nap. Find yourself some food. It's literally three o'clock in the morning. This is so terrible. Uh, no, Violet's not thinking about college. She's thinking about that man that she's trying to snag. Wow. Well, this was a part. We had two people wet themselves. We had a couple of massages. So, you know what? I feel like we, we've met everyone. So, I think this off to a great start. Honestly, I'm going to end this part right here. Get these fools into bed and see what the frick comes of it. And Violet got the, ki the other kid's room. So, Violet and Holden, they planned this. They literally were in cahoots when they decided to do that. Um, if you enjoy this part, please like. Uh, you can leave a comment. Please, I'm begging. That's like literally all I want you to do. Um, you know, subscribe, of course. But, you know, comment as well, too, because that's fun. Uh, I am so excited to see what happens uh, throughout the rest of this little shindig. So, with that being said, I will see you guys next time. All right? Going to be great. And I want all of you guys to keep it sleazy.